Welcome to the concept of bridge hopping the nucleus. Let us see this totally unedited surgery. The main incision is placed at around 11 o'clock and now the anterior chamber is filled up with visco. This is 2% hydroxypropyl methyl cellulose. Now a side port is made on the left side of the main incision and now is the time to do capsular access. This is Lumera D microscope from Jais having very good stereo coaxial illumination and tripan blue dye is not required in most of the cases. Uh, an adequate sized rexis of about 5.25 millimeter has been made and now hydro dissection is done with the help of 27 gauze cannula and pierces the nucleus is tapped and the nucleus is mobilized. Visco again, now is the time to go into the anterior chamber with the pre-choppers, pre-chopper and nucleus sustainer. The pre-chopper and nucleus sustainer divides the nucleus into two halves, then on half into two pieces and then rotate and divide the other half into two pieces. So we have got four pieces in less than a minute. Think of any other way it will definitely cause more time in the anterior chamber manipulations in the anterior chamber for more time means more loss of corneal endothelial cells the precious endothelial cells and now we just have to go in and on by on we emulsify the pieces this is a totally unedited real-time surgery the four pieces are emulsified and now the epinuclear shell is uh, uh, with low vacuum and with low flow rate the epinuclear shell is removed and then with irrigation aspiration mode the cortical cleanup is done gently. You can do this step with bimanual IA or coaxial IA it is not necessary that you have to do this with the FACO handpiece itself. There is a little bit of prolapse of the iris, so the iris may be a bit floppy. And now I am using this 23G Simco to remove some of the fibers that is sticking to the posterior capsule and one end of the fiber is uh, lifted off, so you can hold it with the Simco and remove it. And then I take the irrigation cannula and I do some more polishing with the irrigating jet of fluid but I find that the iris is prolapsing through the main wound so I, enough clarity is there and now hydro implantation of a single piece monofocal aspheric intraocular lens is done. Again some prolapse of the iris through the main wound. So we have to use the main wound less. Uh, whenever we try to reposit the iris we must, must stop irrigation and then push the iris. This is moxifloxacin. Now the side port is closed by corneal stromal hydration. And, and now is the time to do the final lavage of the anterior chamber. Final lavage is done and the nucleus is oriented nicely and then the anterior chamber is formed nicely. Integrate integrity of the wounds are checked, few drops of moxie is applied over the ocular surface and the case is concluded. Thank you very much for your attention. Hope this video will encourage you to pre-chop nucleus before emulsifying the pieces.